Welcome to the video for today, everyone. Why can't we eat moon cake all year round? That's what we're going to learn about today. It is more than just a meal. It plays a significant role in the traditions and cultures of many Asian nations. The Mid-Autumn Festival, a special time to commemorate family, friendship, and appreciation, is when the moon cake is typically consumed. The cooks must have specialized knowledge and skill to make moon cake. They must be skilled in creating desserts that are not only delicious, but also appealing. As a result, moon cake production is constrained and uniqueness is created. Moon cakes originated in China and then spread to other countries. According to Chinese legend, at the end of the first century, during the peasant uprising led by Zhu Wangsheng and Lu Baiyu, in order to secretly convey information and orders, people made round cakes. There was a piece of paper stuffed inside. The note records the beginning of the uprisings at the dawn of the moon, which is mid-August. A major figure in mid-autumn festival custom is Chang's. She is honored as the moon goddess during the mid-autumn festival, also known as the moon festival. How did Chang's ascend to the moon and touch down? What is the background to the mid-autumn festival? How Yi and Chang Legend has it that Chang's was a beautiful and kind woman, and her husband Hao Yi was a brilliant archer. At a time, thousands of years ago, when there were ten suns, the earth and humanity could not stand the smoldering heat. Due to drought, the fields are dry and desolate, and there is a lack of food. Every animal has died, leaving only skeletons. To save the earth, Lord Archer Hugh shot down nine out of ten sons, leaving only one. Hugh he was considered a hero by the people and the Western Empress Dowager, gave him the elixir of immortality as a reward. However, the elixir only comes in one pill. Hugh, I did not want to live forever alone without his beloved wife, so he let Chang's keep it. But one day, when Yi was not at home, one of Hugh Yi's students named Pang Meng tried to steal the elixir. To protect the elixir from evil people, Chang drank the elixir of immortality. She then flew to the moon and became the moon goddess. Yu Ai was very sad when he learned what happened to Chang's. The moon that night was extremely bright. He encountered a swaying figure identical to Chang's. He then displayed the fruits and cakes that Chang's liked so much to convey to Chang that he missed her. Moved by their true love, Mother Moon allowed Chang's to reunite with Hao Yi every year on the full moon day of the 8th lunar month. Since then, on the 15th day of the 8th lunar month every year, it has become the Mid-Autumn Festival, and people look forward to reuniting with their families. Worshipping the moon and eating moon cake have become traditions of the Mid-Autumn Festival. Now we have the answer to the question, why don't we eat moon cakes all year round? As a special meal that only emerges during the Mid-Autumn Festival, moon cakes cannot be consumed throughout the year. Mid-Autumn Festival Facts 10 Interesting Things You Didn't Know 1. The Mid-Autumn Festival is often in late summer. 2. It's also called the Moon Festival. 3. Chinese people believe the moon is brightest at mid-autumn but it's not usually. Four, Mid-Autumn Festival once ranked second among China's festivals. Five, unbelievable, a box of moon cakes can be more than 1,000 yuan. Six, Chinese people make some huge moon cakes, some bigger than a jacuzzi. Seven, day mid-autumn breaks are popular. Train tickets are sold out quickly. Eight, Mid-autumn was once the second Valentine's Day in China. 9. Chinese people like to climb hills or walk by a lake to appreciate the mid-fall moon. 10. The Chinese youth love to give lucky money as mid-autumn gifts using WeChat.